Yo, how's it going guys? It's Hyperxon here. Today we're going to be building a big reactor. The dimensions on the last one we did was a 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. This one's going to be a 7x7x10 seven by seven by just due to the fact that it's a turbine reactor. And it's going to be facing upward. So the blades are going to be coming up. And yeah, the main rule after you have all this built is you have to have the outside glass. I just learned that today myself. By my friend Josh. Yeah. His channel will also be in the description below. Go check him out. He is like the master of mods. So, yep, after you have this thing filled in, you're gonna come down to the bottom and you're gonna place the reactor or the turbine router bearing. Ro yeah, rotor bearing. Rotor. And you're pretty much just gonna bring this. All the way up to the top. Do you need to have it on the one where the... Like, come over here and look at this real quick. And what he's making is something that's gonna be powering this. Does it have to be on this one? No. Alright. And... The blades, should they be on the bottom or the top? Uh, they should be on. Hmm. I'm gonna go like this. I always forget. So, I'm gonna go to our turbine and see what it looks like. Alright. So pretty much what you're gonna need to yeah. build this thing, to, I forgot to go through that, my bad. We're gonna need a Enderium block. Turbine controller, turbine rotor shaft, turbine rotor blade, turbine power Fans port, the turbine housing, turbine rotor bearing, and turbine glassing. And like Josh just said, we're going to need these to go down to the bottom. This, I'm pretty sure, is the most... Actually, no, it's not even close to the most effective way because the one that we have in our base is way bigger. Isn't that right, Joshy? That's so weird for me to call you that. User in your channel timed out. User entered your channel. Alright, alright. Yes, uh, I will connect to TS for a second. Alright. Is this high enough to put the Endorian blocks on? By the way, guys, the blades are five high. Uh, yes. Yeah, so put them on top. Just put one on top. Uh, what? From here up? Like this? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we have that built, and then don't we just put the housing on top? And it should just snap in the frame just like the reactor did over here and also the one that's going to be happening here. And then pretty much what you're going to want to do is you're going to come to the front and you're going to break this block and you're going to replace it with this. What we built right here. Your mic's echoing. What? Your mic is echoing. Or no, it's not anymore. I had it muted. Oh. I had it muted. I didn't know damn it. And this is a steam generator? It is going to be steam, yeah, yeah. And we'll probably do a tutorial on how to build one of those and later. We're just doing this one right now so we can just power this. Actually, we might just keep this one here. Why not? Yeah, that's what I do. I'll probably just have to rebuild it though, just so everyone in the YouTube comments and everything know how to build it. Yeah, I like what you did with the window right there though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then I'll I'll let you just explain the rest of it because I I don't, I don't know what else happens. I know this generates steam, and you want to keep the fan going at a maximum speed at all times. You never want it to slow down. Yeah. So basically, it's the reactor produces steam. The steam goes into the turbine, and the turbine will spin up. And if you hover over the bar, it actually says rotors perform best at 900 or 1800 RPM. So you want to keep them at that speed. 1800 is better, but it loses efficiency between 900 and 1800. So it's best to try to keep it at 1800. The power comes from when you engage the coils, which is what those Imperium blocks are doing. Any metallic block do. Uh, but the higher tier the block, the more energy you'll get out of it. So Endurium is pretty much the best. But you can also use iron or gold or whatever. So that's where the energy actually comes from. Uh, that slows down the turbine though. And, uh, there's a whole bunch of math to figure out uh, how much, how many block, how many fans, how big it should be, all kinds of stuff. So what we can do is we can actually put down a native uh, steam generator. Put that on there, and that will give it infinite steam. So. If you want to look inside the uh, control. All right. Na, 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 na. It is at a hundred and fifty RPM, and you can just so see it's the, climbing. You can just see the the blades spinning faster and faster and faster. Eventually, they just start to glitch out, and it just looks like they're going back and forth. At least the one does it. Yep, there it goes. It starts to flickering. Yeah, still looks cool. It does though. I can't believe they actually made that texture. And now it's about 600, 700 RPM. I'll help it. Having the coils engaged will slow it down. If you're just trying to get up the speed, it's best to have them off. Well, while um, this, this is speeding have... up, we could actually go show the one that's off at our, our base. You can't. I am just going to put down an energy trash can. It's at the dome, right? Yep. And we are here. This is what our reactor. Actually, this is like the reactor plant in ours. This is the steam generator that we have. This re fucking generates a shit ton, I think. And this is our turbine. And it is running about 4,500 RPM. Dang! Is it? Uh oh. What? Shouldn't be. Is that bad? Well, it's supposed to be bad. It's actually bad, though. It's actually somewhat good. Why? Because, uh... Well, it was never implemented, but, uh, it does say that rotors kept oversped for too long, they failed catastrophically. Though, so technically, right now, it's oversped. So how do we make it slow down to where it's supposed to go? 
I should be producing soon. Is oh. All right. <laughs> Computer program failure. I was just about to say that because the only one that's on right now is mine and this steam generator. Holy shit, I am producing a lot of lag here. And I'm going back Wait. to the, the voidage. Alright guys, we're back at the void age, and now we are going to go back to our generator that we are now building, which is up above. If you haven't seen the last video about the ME system, you want to learn how to build a boss ME system, I recommend you check out this video. Ah! And if you guys want to learn how to build a regular reactor, I, admit, I recommend you check out this video. And then you're watching, I pretty sure this is going to be the most, the shortest video of ours is this video that we're doing right now. And we're generating about 950 RPM right now. 1,000, 1,100. I'm pretty sure it wasn't going just a minute ago because we didn't have a chunk loader in here, to be honest. It's about 1,200 FP, or 1,200 RPM. If you guys want to learn how to build a stream generator at its most efficient way possible, just put it down in the comments below. We'll make sure to build it for you guys. Probably build it, like, on a different platform way out so we just don't got to look at the the big ass thing. I would not recommend building the biggest big reactor, the one that actually produces energy, like the one right here that I'm showing you guys, due to the fact that it's huge and it's just a waste of resources. I mean, if you want to go and creative and build it, go right ahead. It's going to take you about a day or two to build it. Then again, I don't think it would because you have a builder's wand. Well, you guys do you guys do you, and oh, we're done with the video, right? Yep. Yep. Like I said, if you guys enjoy the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. It really means a lot. If you guys want to go check out uh, Void Seeker's channel, it'll be in the description below. He's really good at making tutorials. I personally think it's he makes things sound complicated, but or doesn't make no. I said that wrong. Things that are complicated, he makes them sound really easy and understanding, which I really like about him. He's a good guy. And I'm not just saying that because he's paying me. I'm just saying that because he's a good guy. Yep. But if you want to come over here and get in the, the thumbnail of the video. Oh, I'll wait. Uh-huh. No, fine. Uh -huh. fine. No, All right. Good. All right. No, I'm on my way. Make sure to go follow us on all social medias. And we'll see you next time.